Hi guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to go from one activity to another using a button click and we're also going to pass some data from this activity to the next one. So as you can see here I just typed in something on the screen and when we go to our next activity it prints out. So let's get straight into the build here. I've just created a new project and we need to add a second activity. So that's the first thing that we're going to do. So we're going to go to new and then come down to activity and from that list we're going to click empty activity. So I'm just going to give this a title of second activity and hit finish and we're going to jump straight to our layout file. The first thing that I'm going to do is change our constraint layout to a linear layout and then we need to change that to be vertical rather than horizontal. So I'm just going to throw a text view in here and just give this a text saying second activity just so that we know which activity we're on. Then I just want to adjust a few other features so I'm just going to make the text show in the center of the page so I'm going to change this to center horizontal and then I'm just going to add some padding of 10 dp around the text as well and the last thing that I'm going to do is just make the text slightly bigger so let's just change this to 18. So after that I just want to add a text view to this page because we're going to print out the message that we send from the first activity uh, on the second activity. So I'm just going to set the padding to 10 dp for this as well and just get rid of the text for now. After that we can jump to our main uh, layout file and I'm going to do the same here and just change this to be a linear layout and then we need to convert that one to be vertical as well. Then we can just add another text view very similar to our other activity and inside here we're just going to change this to say first activity then we can set the size of the text to be a little bit larger. So I'm just going to set this to 18 SP and we're going to jump to our gravity and make the text appear in the center. And after that, let's just add some padding just as we did in our other activity. Now we need to allow the user to enter some text. So let's just grab an edit text box and throw that underneath. Then I'm just going to set the hint for this text box to tell the user to enter some text that is going to be sent from this activity to the next activity. And the last thing that we need to do is set a button to navigate us from this activity to the next. So let's just go ahead and grab a button here and throw it underneath our edit text. And I'm just going to change the text on the button to say next activity. After that, we can jump to our main activity and get started on the code. So the first thing that we need to do in this class is create a private button. And once we have that declared, we can come down to our onCreate method and we're just going to say button is equal to and we're just going to find the view by the ID. So that should be under button. After that, we can set our onClick listener for the button. So let's just say set onClick listener new view dot on click listener and this should auto generate your on click method and inside here we're just going to create a new method which creates an intent to go to our next activity so if we call it go to activity and we're just going to click this red bulb over here and that should be able to create the method for us so let's just create our intent object here so we'll just call it intent and equal that to new intent and of course you need to pass in this and then the name of the class that you're going to. So let's just say second activity dot class. After this we can just simply start our activity. So we're going to say start activity and pass in our intent object. And once we have that done we can go to our manifest just to make sure that our other activity is uh, declared in here. So let's just write activity and second activity. So now our manifest knows about it. So here's just a quick example of how the app is looking at the moment. So if you type in some text and if you hit the next activity button, it should go to the next activity. But as you see, we don't get any text. So let's go back and fix this. So if we go back to our main activity here, we need to get the input from the user. So let's create an edit text here. I'm just going to call that edit text. And of course, we need to come down into our onCreate method and we need to find it by its ID. So we'll equal to that to find view by ID and it should be under aura.id.editText2. And after that we want to just create a private string at the top of the class and we're just going to use this to store the text that the user types in. So we'll just call it text to send. 
So we can come down to our on click uh, listener next and we can set our string inside here so that when the user clicks the button that the string gets set. So let's just say text to send is equal to edit text dot get text and then we can use the dot to string method. So now that we've gotten the user's input and stored it in a string, we can add that to our intent by using a put extra. So we'll say intent dot put extra. And this takes in a name and a value and the best practice is to set a final string as your name. So we're just going to come back up to the top of the class and create a public static final. And we're going to say text to send and we're going to equal that to our package name. So we can simply say com dot example dot uh, android tutorial and then we're going to finish that off by saying text to send. But this will depend on whatever your package name is. And once we have that done we're going to come back to our go to activity method and we're going to use this string as the name for the extra that we're putting into our intent. And of course we're going to set the value as the text that we want to send which is stored in our variable called text to send. So let's put that in here as the second parameter. And now that should send to our next activity. So what we need to do next is go to that class and we want to retrieve that data. So what we're going to do is create an intent object and we can do that by using the get intent method. So let's just call this intent and equal that to get intent. And after that we can get the extras from this. So we're just going to set a string and we're going to call that extra text and we'll equal that to intent dot get string extra and inside there we need to specify the name so we can use the public static final that we created in our main activity so we're going to say main activity dot text to send so that should get the data that the user sent and what we need to do next is create a text view uh, which we set on our layout file and we're going to find that by its ID. So to do that we're just going to jump back to the layout folder to, to double check what the ID is. So it's text view 6. So let's go back to our class here and set that to text view 6. So once that's done we want to just update our text view with the data that the user sent from the first activity. So we can say text view dot set text and we're just going to pass in our string that we got from our intent, which is extra text. Uh, after that, the last thing that I'm going to do is add a back button to this activity here. So we're going to go to our manifest file. And inside here, we're going to come down to where we created the second activity. And what we want to do is specify that the main activity is its parent. So we can simply just say Android dot parent activity name. And we're going to say main activity. So that's pretty much everything for the code. So let's just give the app a run and see how it looks. So here on the main activity, we have our edit text. So I'm just going to type in some text here. So I'm going to say test sending text and hit the button here. So as you can see on our second activity, it received the data that we sent and the back button should be working as well. So it brings us back to our main activity. And that's pretty much it for the tutorial guys. It's pretty straightforward. If you have any questions or anything like that, just leave it down in the comments below. And if you enjoy the video, just leave a like and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.